Hello friends, in a previous video I had shown you how to check the version of PowerShell installed on your machine. We saw that I am running a very old version of PowerShell which is version 2.0.5. Now in this video let us see how to upgrade this PowerShell to version 3.0. Now as per Microsoft website it says that when I am running Windows 7 service pack 1 in order to get powershell 3.0 i will have to install windows management framework 3.0 that is wmf 3.0 now you can get wmf 3.0 from this download page now based on your operating system you need to select the appropriate version or the appropriate file for installation now the correct file for my case is this one windows 6.1 and this KB version is ending with 143. So I've downloaded that file, and this file will particularly give me Windows PowerShell 3.0, which will include all of these features like show command. Now, this show command will particularly give us feature like this. Once you uh, write the command show command, you'll get a window where you can search the commandlet. You can also get Windows Management Instrumentation, Windows Remote Management, Management OData IS Extension, and Server Manager CIM Provider. Now let's let's begin with our installation. I selected yes, I'll accept the terms. So this WMF file is basically a standalone installation. It won't download any extra files from the internet. So you can uh, get an offline version of that file and uh, run it on any of the machines wherein you want to upgrade the PowerShell version. I'm guessing it might take a couple of minutes. If needed, we'll pause the video. So the installation is almost completed. It took almost four minutes for the installation to complete. Now it is asking me to restart. So I'll restart this, restart my computer, and then continue the video. So now my machine has restarted. Now let us see. Open the PowerShell and see the version of PowerShell. Yes, we have upgraded our PowerShell to version 3.0, which is compatible with version 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0. Let us clear the screen and let us see if we can uh, execute the show command, which was made available with this version and yes show command is also working successfully so we can definitely say we have successfully upgraded powershell from version 2.0.5 to version 3.0 all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe share it with friends and as always thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time